All right, welcome back to another episode of our Guilders One playthrough in Nightfall, and you will notice I am actually in factions. Uh, that's because I suddenly remembered uh, way back at this mission, the Napui Quarter mission. Uh, this is where you get uh, closer to the stars. It's like the factions ascended mission. Uh, I never got the Mesmer Elite skill from here because we did it in the order where the Mesmer boss was last. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll always, I can always go back and get it later. And then I never did. So that's what we're going to do today. And I just realized I need a signet of capture, don't I? One second. Let me go get that. Okay, we are back. I'm going to grab a signet capture. I'm also not going to be running fragility for this. I'm going to be... Let me just save this really... I like this I like this uh, skill. I'm going to do this. And then uh, I'm actually going to run... A... I like the conundrum spiker. Yeah, that will be fun. Put in some Chaos Storm. We'll put in uh, Cry of Frustration. Oh no, Cry of Pain. And then, of course, the Signal Capture. Perfect. Uh, I don't like Shattered Delusions there, do I? I think I like this. Yeah, I like this. Um, and then we'll grab some henchmen. I don't really care who I grab. Let's get a healer or a... Two healers? Weird. Okay. I might edit all that out. Anyway, I went back. I got the signet of capture. I changed my build a little bit. This is going to be really fast because this Mesmer boss is at the beginning this time because we're going to start with him or her or it. It's like a, it's a phoenix, celestial phoenix, I think. Talk to this guy, blah, blah, blah. Um, is it going to pop up? Should be, yeah, blah. Yeah, here we go. So last time we went clockwise, starting from left to right. And if we do that, we actually end up with the Mesmer at the end. And then we killed the Mesmer boss and ended the mission. So this time we're just going to go straight to the Mesmer boss. Should be pretty easy because we're super overpowered. I used the wrong skill first. Awesome. Yeah, I missed this. I, I, I used this uh, build for a little bit and I really liked it. And then I immediately went back to my fever dreams because I, I like fragility. But I'm really happy about this Enchantress Conundrum build. It's really strong. Ooh, got a chest. Um, I'm pretty sure chests here have options of dropping celestial items. It would be great if while we're here getting this uh, skill... We could also get some celestial weapon drops, but it's probably a little too optimistic. Go. I keep forgetting cry of frustration. It has to be a mesmer hex. So really I should be using cry of frustration and then shattered illusions. Just to make sure we got that. Uh, hi G, right here. Bingo. Right at the beginning. This is what we should have done in the first place. And I'm not sure what skill it has, but I, I just remembered, like... Yeah. Whenever we did this mission with some other players, I was like, oh, I guess I can always come back on my own and capture it, and I just never did. Of course, whenever enemies are grouped up like that, you gotta drop a chaos storm, then they go running away. A fleeing enemy is a 
you know, n not doing much anime. There's probably a better way to say that, but... Yeah, it's a phoenix. Retain my lockpick! And we get a max domination chakram. Lisa's Lisa's aura for 10 seconds. It's interesting. It's a it's a mesmer enchantment. Not very many enchantments for the mesmer. For 10 seconds, you have plus three energy during generation. This enchantment reapplies itself each time you cast a spell on a foe. What? That's crazy. So it gives you all of the all of the um, energy management you could ever want at the cost of an elite skill. I wonder if that's worth. All right, I'm going to sell that. Very interesting. Okay, let's go back to Kamadan. We are still in our Nightfall play playthrough. But now we can experiment with a new Mesmer build. Uh, we are in Vabi at the Honor Hill. Is that where we are? Grand Court. That's where we got to go. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm at. Um, okay. Let's check Lisa's aura. It seems like with this build, we want to be using, um, fast casting. Why do I have deadly arts there? What the heck? Um, fast casting. Maxed. I'm going to go domination, which I wasn't even wearing my domination max. Noob. And I need an inspiration rune, but unfortunately, I do not have one. So let's take one out of domination, put it inspiration. And take one out of fast casting. No. Do I like that? If I put it at 10, yeah, that's a big difference. Plus 3 and plus 4 energy regeneration. But I have 9 unused points, that's kind of lame. We'll just do like that or something. I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, so with this build, I want to obviously use skills that cost a lot of energy so I can make the most out of that energy regeneration. So Shatter Enchantment's good. Cry of Pain's good. I'm, I'm going to be looking at 10 energy. Um, what's Symbolic Celerity? No. I could even combine this with... What's that other... There's another skill somewhere that... Ether Lord. What if I combined it with Ether Lord? Then I would get... Six energy regeneration? <laughs> that might be kind of funny. Uh, I would want to put it... I would want to put it towards the end after I cast all my spells. Um, yeah, what other things do I want to do? Um, backfire. Backfire is only useful for mages, though. Maybe arcane echo. And get some double chaos storm. No power drain. I've got enough energy regeneration. We'll use... Yeah, something like drain enchantment. Except I already have shatter enchantment. So let's just use ether feast. Yeah. So the point of this... Uh, this point of this is to... Of course, a lot of these use long cooldowns. What's something spammable? I want to be spamming because I want this to reapply itself, right? Mind rack is pretty spammable. Yeah, we could do a mind rack. And Shatter Delusions combo. That's pretty spammable. 
Yeah. It's pretty spammable. How about instead of Chaos Storm, we put Empathy. 10 second recharge time is pretty good. Shattered Illusions. I'll be spamming this. These. Okay. It'll be fun. Maybe. Let's get rid of... Do I need Margaret for this? Yeah, I need Margaret. Um, cool. I'm not going to bring Eve. I'm going to bring... I'm not going to bring Ordura because he's got empathy already. Let's get our monk motivation. And... Uh, Sin. And Herta. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, it wants me to go out that way. I think I can just go out this way, though. And I want to use my domination staff. Okay, trying out this weird Lisa's aura skill. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that energy regeneration. <laughs> that is overkill. That is overkill. It's gotta be. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Look at the Oh, it okay, my half my half casting my half recharge uh spell procked off my staff cuz like that was only 15 that was that was way too fast. That was less than 15 seconds. That was like 10 seconds recharge. Oh no. Ah. Oh whatever. I didn't talk to the scout. All right, we actually need to go up this way and around. And let's fight. Let's test it out. Okay, cast this first. I want to start with Mind Rack. There we go. My energy. Look at my energy pips. <laughs> it's so dumb. I don't know. My energy is going crazy, though. I don't know, honestly. Is this good? I need to change my order. I need to put Mind Rack, then Cry of Pain. What gave me overcast? There you go. Interesting. I'm not sure what gave me overcast. We'll just go this way. Yeah, it should get us there. I don't know. I don't know if I if I like this build or not, but I like seeing how fast my energy goes up. That's craziness. Like that's quite a spike. Mind rack, cry of pain, shattered illusions. And I just noticed the shattered illusion or the mind rack, uh, where it takes energy or takes damage. What is it? Whenever this was a target enemy in my non-hex Mesmer, like Shattered Illusion, it procs that 24 damage. So actually, I'm doing close to 100 damage with that combo. Shattered uh, Mind Rack and Shattered Illusions. And the casting speed on all those is so fast. Boom, boom, boom. So it's like... It's like 70... 70 damage, then another 100 da 170 damage spike. For in a split second like that, that's a pretty big spike. And I, it's relatively spammable. Except for that 15 second recharge time. It's a very, very weird build. Maybe one of the craziest builds I've done. Let's just fight some more. I just want to test it out. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Look at that. Look at the pips. 
<laughs> uh, it doesn't get old. Yeah, and if they have an enchantment, that's just that's just over. You know what, Lisa's aura. Oh, you have to cast a you have to cast a spell on a foe though. I was gonna say it might be good with a monk build, but no, you have to be targeting enemies, which monks obviously are not doing a lot of. But I love how spammable it is. I love it. I should test it out on some. Uh, dummies in the what's that place called the uh, embark beach or the temple of balthazar or whatever where you can test against combat dummies wow this is quite a far away place mihanu township Oh, this is an outpost. Nice. We'll just go right on through here. Okay. There's, I feel like Nightfall has a ton of relatively pointless outposts. Like, I... They wanted to make Alona feel big. And in my opinion, I feel like they made it unnecessarily big. There's just a lot of space, which kind of makes sense because it's like a desert, but still. There's just a lot of space without, I don't know. I'm kind of getting nitpicky. What do you think? Is Alona unnecessarily large? I'm not like size shaming Alona or anything. But I feel like in Prophecies, it was he Prophecies Tyria is massive. But because the missions kind of seamlessly run like, like together, most of the areas are extra. And you're free to go explore them. And here, it's like, they obviously wanted you to explore it. And so, it just it feels like there's just a lot of empty space compared to Prophecies. Oh, that's a lot of degeneration. I think I'm dead. What, what damaged me so much? That was crazy. I don't think I like Ether Lord. I think I'm not quite getting. I should, I if or I should. I think if I'm gonna use Ether Lord, I should wait until I'm at like almost zero energy already, because I'm kind of losing the momentum of my build that way. That was really bad. That was really good. Yeah, ether ether lord is not is not necessary to use in my skill rotation. Should only be used whenever I get close to low energy. Otherwise, I should just be spamming these four skills. Oops. Yeah, that was better. Sea purse shield? What is that? 
A sea pro shield? Why is it called that? Cool. I don't really like the way it looks, but... I don't think I've ever seen that skin before. Oh... Uh... Alright, almost there. Like, I'm seeing numbers pop up, and it's pretty spiky. I'm not convinced... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm not convinced that it's any more effective than just running Energy Surge. And honestly, it's probably less effective than Energy Surge. But it's fun. And while you do get a lot of energy, I wonder if it would be more useful to use it with... Because it's every time you cast a spell on a foe. So it might be better to use with like Necromancer high energy spells or obviously Elementalist high energy spells. Maybe even like Ritualist uh, channeling spells. Those like lightning ones. Ah, Dashim. That's right. Um, the princes, we learned last episode, the princes have gone into hiding about this secret kind of vault. Like a Vabian Fort Knox. Duality of Lisa. Oh, that's right. The Vabian's like patron goddess is... Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. How do you guys pronounce it? Type in the chat. How you guys pronounce Lisa? A uh, hi. Oh, this is just a separate quest. All right, we'll just grab that. I want to. Do this one. Defeat. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We're all we're all grouped up. The developers knew what they were doing here. See now I should use Ether Lord. That was good. Whoa, 35. That's like almost a mil. Almost a or almost a thousand gold. The boss says, just standing here in guard, I better not move or he'll get angry. Prince Boca warned me, blah, blah, blah. Gorin's very dumb. Did I finish? Find Gorin in the Mirror of Lace. Yeah, we finished it. Okay. I hope this isn't... Did I miss the quest to get Norgu? I hope not. I don't think so, because this is a primary quest. And we still need Margaret. Looks like I need to run all the way around here. See what I'm talking about? Like, it's just a little bit unnecessarily large, these areas. And yeah, I'm complaining. You might It might sound like I'm complaining about the size of, like, oh, there's too much content. But I just feel like this is not content. It's just, it's just big. It's just really large. Yeah, I'm kind of complaining, I guess. And like... Prophecies had a bunch of escort quests, and I feel like they kind of did away with those a lot in... Nightfall, so I do like that aspect. These guys hurt, I remember. 
energy surge. Ouch. Gosh. Because they just... They do so much single target spike damage. What's that? Glacial's demise. But why am I taking... In, is is Wacial's demise not a hex? It is a hex, yeah. Each damage, each second while hex, target foe and all foes adjacent to that foe take nine damage and deal nine damage. Additional nine damage for each second is in effect. But I'm like using skills. Why am I taking so much damage from that skill? It's a little bit confusing. All right, here's Gorin. I hope I didn't miss the Norgu quest. That's it? Dance? Aha, you move with the grace of a headless chicken. Nonetheless, welcome. I am the Lock of Adashim. Okay. Corin, come here and talk to this thing. Does the slow brutish one wish to speak most properly? If he fails, you will be destroyed. Do make sure you're prepared. We're ready. All right. Cutscene. Let's go. Barish, we have located the Sun Spears. The Sun Spears are completely irrelevant. Everything is ready. We must move at once. Surely there is an easier way. No. It all comes down to this. We must do this not only for the good of Corner, but the good of all Elona. Berish, I fear for the priests. The followers of Lyssa will be unharmed. I respect your faith, Morgan, and would never harm it, even in Abaddon's name. Perhaps if I spoke with them, they would let us proceed. No. No. Let me handle this. Your precious priests are safe. But I must ask you, old friend, where your own loyalties lie. With your faith, or with your home? My loyalty is to you, Barish. To you and to Korna. Thank you, old friend. Ready the troops, General Morgan. We move out! Ah, uh, Morgan, your heart is good. It is a pity there will be no place for it in our new world. Hidden city of Adashim. I've heard of it. It is filled. It's like a uh, open sesame, right? Niches filled with riches. From from here, the prince's command. Sinbad. Of the gym. Exodus. What in the name of the gods? The gods, the princes of Babi. Leave now, or perish. We seek an audience with the princes. The princes will see no one. We are their allies. They have ordered us to keep all others out. We will keep them safe. They're hiding. Hiding while the rest of the world burns. I wouldn't put it past them. I'll be dead for the next few years. Go no further. We want the princes. We'll have to go in after them. It's into a stronghold filled with traps, wards, and hostile jinn. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. That's weird. It seems almost like Goran already joined me. I could have sworn there's a mission where I could, or a quest where I'm supposed to choose between them. Anyway, um, very cool. I also, I just looked, on a side note, I just looked up Varish's uh, voice actor because I thought she's very talented. I don't know if you guys are fans of the 30, uh, Third Rock from the Sun. That old, like, John Lithgow and... Um, what's his name? Joseph Gordon Lovett, that sitcom. 
she was an actress in it. She played Nina's assistant. No, no, she played Nina. She was assistant of Madeline Albright, right? Uh, on Third Rock from the Sun. So that's why her name, her voice sounds familiar. Anyway, <laughs> we are now at Dasha Festival, which is the mission for doing, uh, for, for linking up with the, with the, um, princes. I'm going to put Ascolite Sosuke. This should put him at level 20. And it did not. <laughs> it still did not. Uh, anyway. We got a skill point, though. All right. This is a good place to stop a little bit of a short episode. We made it a little bit longer by going to capture Lisa's aura. We're just under 30 minutes. Anyway. That's how you get to Dasha Vestibule, da Dasha Vestibule from Grand Court of Sabelke. So we went all the way up to Halls of Chokin, got that book, talked to Goran, and then we ended up coming down here where there's a secret door into Adashim, which I don't know where this name comes from, Dasha Vestibule, but... We're at Adashim. So, next mission, we're going to break into this vault and give the princess a good talking to. Right? Who do we... Let's pick up the mid... Let's go ahead and pick up the quest. I'm not sure. All right, this is the lock of Adashim. Is it not a quest? It's just a mission, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll start this next episode. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about this build. Is it trash? It kind of felt pretty strong. Uh, I died a lot, though. I don't know if it's the, the build's fault or my user error. Probably user error. I probably could have healed myself plenty of times, and I just didn't. Uh, but Lisa's aura is fun. Give me some... Maybe in the comments you can rate this build and then give me some tips on how to best use lisa's aura i feel like it could be very very strong because energy regeneration is a powerful thing uh but maybe maybe it's not maybe it's not good anyway let me know catch y'all later peace